Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to convert a matrix to a data frame using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the matrix that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new matrix object appears which is called MyMat and we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that our matrix contains three rows and four columns. We can also check the class of this data object by running line 5 of the code and in this line of code I'm simply applying the class function to our matrix which is called myMat. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see that our example data object is actually a matrix. Now let's assume that we want to convert this matrix to the data frame class. Then we can apply the sDataFrame function as you can see in line 7 of the code. And in this line of code I'm applying the sDataFrame function to our matrix. And then I'm storing the output in a new data object which is called myData. So if you run line 7 of the code you can see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears which is called myData. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 8 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a data frame which contains exactly the same values as our input matrix. However, you can also see that this representation of the data is different compared to the matrix because now we have a data frame instead of a matrix. We can also check that by using the class function again and this time we are applying the class function to our new data object, myData. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see that our output data object is a data frame. So as you have seen, we have just created a new data frame, which is called myData. However, you can also see that this data frame is not really formatted properly because the column names of our data frame were automatically called v1, v2, v3 and v4. And we can change that by using the call names function as you can see in line 12 of the code. And in this line of code I'm assigning new column names to our data frame. So if you run line 12 of the code our data frame is updated and we can see that by running line 13 of the code. And as you can see after running this line of code at the bottom in the RStudio console our new data frame has the column names call1, call2, call3 and call4. In addition to that we could also change the row names of our data frame by using the row names function as you can see in line 15 of the code. So if you run this line of code our data is updated again and if we print our final data frame to the RStudio console you can see that our data frame now also has different row names compared to the previous data frame. So our final data frame contains the values of our input matrix with manually defined column names and row names. So in this video I have explained how to convert a matrix to a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content and the R programming code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.